Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Fingers Valley in Transport Fever 2. Uh, you'll note that there's no uh, face inset in uh, this one, and that's for reasons. Uh, mostly because it's allergy season and you don't need to see me doing the sniffling thing, uh, but also there's other reasons. Uh, right, okay. Uh, we have here a completed passenger network, at least to the point where all of the towns are connected, at least unless I missed one somewhere, right? Now, what I've done when I loaded up the, the save for this is I reduced the industry closure rate to rarely. Uh, and that's just because um, the churn rate, yeah, I don't, I don't want to deal with that as much uh, for, for the moment. Um, I would leave it on normally. Uh, at the setting I started with, but you know what? I'm just going to uh, let it uh, run at a lower rate. Um, I can bring it up again later, but I want to. What I want to do now is something that isn't going to be especially uh, pleasant if industries are closing, etc., all the time, right? Now, uh, what I want to do is start building a freight network, uh, which uh, brings. Uh, uh, goods from industries into hubs and uh, transships between hubs and everything else, all, all of that stuff, right? Now, you'll note here that the distribution of industries is not exactly the most pleasant here, right? Like we've got three forests up here, uh, four, five forests up here, six, seven, seven forests, and we have one sawmill down here, or, or, or Sawmill, where is it? Uh, down here somewhere. Uh, but we got 110,000 forests and, and what have you, right? Now, uh, up here in this corner, I think this would be a good corner to start in, except for the fact we can't really make any money doing it. Uh, this corner over here isn't, is it perhaps better? Well, we've got a couple of sawmills and a forest. Um, uh, we have a forest, a sawmill. A um, couple of them. Yeah, we have some oil. Uh, uh, so this corner could be better. But I noticed there's a lot of forests on the map. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I don't know that this corner is necessarily any better. So uh, what, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, start setting things up. Uh, with uh, uh, some sort of uh, freight hub set up. Now, the question is, where do we put the freight hub over here, right? Uh, I could put it in around here, and then that could cover off the stuff over here as well. Uh, and that might be worth doing, actually. Um, well, maybe not, actually. Uh, as you notice that we have... Uh, we have a couple of coal, coal mines, uh, a steel mill, and a couple of iron mines uh, in this area. So we can actually do that direct from the coal and iron mines to the steel mill. And then the steel mill can come out to, the, to a freight hub, right? And this here is actually the key to uh, doing a freight hub setup is you don't send all of the material to the hub and then back out again. When you've got something like that, where you can supply an industry uh, locally, just supply it locally and uh, keep those particular uh, mines or whatever uh, separated. And uh, don't bring in the raw materials from elsewhere from the hub to that mine. If you do that, then you reduce the amount of, uh, of volume on your backbone interhub uh, uh, lines, right? Uh, and then you get a lot less uh, pillar to post and back again uh, freight transport, right? And that's, that's kind of what I'm aiming for here. Now, where we've got cases where we've got nothing to, that we can do, really, with the uh, produced resources, like the uh, oil here or the logs here, uh, we might then just uh, bring that to a hub and then 
uh, feed that onward to somewhere that does have something it can do with them, right? Now, uh, I kind of want to have hubs that are rather um, large and collect in quite a bit from around them uh, instead of uh, a bunch of small ones, right? And that's actually more practical now that we have the uh, uh, station buildings increase capacity uh, situation, right? So how would we do this here? Well, uh, I would run trucks from each individual industry that's relatively close uh, to a freight hub that I think I would set right... Yeah, put one here and one over here <clears throat> yeah yeah it's far enough yeah so put one for green bay over here and also uh i want to have one hub for each town and then we'll bring the uh, finished goods to the hubs and then hoof those into the towns maybe with naffy's wagons or trucks right so uh what i'm going to do is I'm going to put the Green Bay hub, uh, I think maybe a Green Bay hub, uh, where? Where would be good? Well, I think perhaps it would be good to put it, well, I, I want some relatively flat ground with good rail access. So probably over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the flattening gun. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to put it right here. That means this road's in the way. Uh, well, set the dozers free. Yeah, we've set the dozers free. Now we can put them away again. And right. So... Uh, we'll put a flat spot in here. Uh, about like this. We're going to burn through a bunch of cash doing that. This is way bigger than I need it to be. Um, right. The other thing we're going to do is go in here and get rid of the uh, brush in there. Right. Why? It's just less assets that need to be rendered there, right? Okay. So we've done that. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to start with the uh, rail station. That's a building. And that's going to be a... What's that? Underground train depot. Uh, it's going to be a cargo station, right? I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put eight tracks on... No, I'm going to put... I'm going to put four... Four tracks. Max length. No no catenary. Um, eight tracks is huge, right? I think that's too many for this one. It might be right, though. Uh, no, I'll put four here. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I'll put four there. And uh, we can put it on about that angle. I'm going to put it about over here. Yeah, no, we'll put it about over here. Blam. Okay, so we're going to call this the Green Bay Freight hub right uh, that gives us the Green Bay Freight Hub uh, right and now we're gonna go in here and the thing we're gonna do now I've got it on high speed time to build up cash because uh, we're gonna burn through cash pretty quick as we're doing this thing about these freight hubs is you don't really need uh, buildings and stuff set up like that until you need to connect them to something right uh, but 
uh, what I want to do is uh, tracks. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, this is 320 meters. I want to take this up uh, to uh, that's 6,400. That's 480 meters, right? Um, that's 520, 560, 600. I'm going for really long for these because we're going to have long freight trains on them. Uh, yeah. So a 640 meter uh, platform will hold quite a lot of uh, material. And we'll be able to run some really long trains. And that will just look brilliant snaking around the map when we have the... Uh, uh, the uh, stuff to uh, actually handle them. Right, and put the uh, platforms in uh, and fix the one that I messed up there. Right, do that. Yeah, and then out this side as well. Uh, there's another thing that making the, uh, the hub stations really long allows us to do. And that allows us to put a number of truck stations against them and lots of buildings, right? So that's a proper ferocious looking station, right? Uh, so now what do we need here? Well, we need drop off platforms for the stuff coming in from up here and over here. So that's going to be three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, six drop off platforms for those just coming in from that side. We need a pickup and a drop off for, uh, uh, for the farm. Uh, well, trucks can carry everything, so, or the food processing plant. So uh, we've, we are going to need, um, we don't have, uh, we don't have the resources we need necessarily in range for the steel mill. So that's going to connect with uh, that one might need multiple truck lines just to handle the volume uh, of the iron and coal uh, and steel, right? So uh, we, we can actually make that work. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, um, question is, uh, where do I want to put the truck connection point here? Uh, well, I'm going to put one. Yeah, we'll start with it that big. Uh, and we're going to start with six platforms. And if we put it over here. Yeah, I could put it over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to need to get the flattening gun out again and do this right and then we get that back yeah so we can put it right here yeah we can and if i put it this way well if i do that oh there's something else i can do here that would be uh potentially uh, uh interesting uh, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, I'm gonna show that to you now we can put a uh, cargo building well, let's put a big cargo building we could put a cargo building this way right yeah we could put that there uh, right but you know we have this here right well here's what we, we can do we can actually put tracks coming through the end and there we go yeah now we can't do anything with these tracks uh, other than have them be station tracks but that gives us a uh, station building here and then we can put the uh, truck business over here and this will allow us to add more uh, well I'll, well I was to add terminal platforms here right uh, facing the other way, right? 
Uh, and we might have some terminal platforms here. So, uh, right. Uh, okay. So, so that's something we can do. Uh, now, if we bring our uh, building back out here, um, we can connect it even over here, which might be how I want to do it. Um, could also do it this way. Oh, I kind of like, um, right. So that's something that we could do, right? Uh, that building's too big, uh, cargo building. We could put one of those here, right off the end of the platform. Uh, and then, uh, then we could, uh, bring one of the, these in like this. Right? Uh, I wish we could set a longer length by default on those. But we could bring this all the way up like this, right? Um, oh, okay, we could do that. Why don't we do that? Okay, now we can uh, go in here. Um, right, cargo. I'm going to lengthen the uh, platforms here. Why am I making them nine uh, steps long? Well, because I can, but this will actually allow them to hold a little bit more stuff. But the other thing it allows them to do is uh, give more space for uh, trucks to come in and uh, queue. Uh, so if we get a, a large uh, number of those things, then we can do this. Right. Now we could set some one-way roads coming this way and one-way roads coming this way onto these. Um, I'm not going to. This will work just fine. Uh, so we've got six platforms here. We can actually share the platforms for drop-offs, right? So uh, drop-offs aren't going to be a big problem. Now, coming out of here, we need to get to here and this stuff, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to rebuild the road network. Uh, yeah. So we'll take the roads out. And we'll rebuild the road network. Right? Uh, okay. So we just keep coming along here and bulldoze a bunch of roads we've got and you may notice that we've got cash coming in at a pretty good rate here uh, we're at 60 million in the bank now so we've definitely got the cash to be able to do this okay take that out okay now what am i going to do well the first thing i'm going to do is i'm pretty sure we're going to need Tracks coming out of here, uh, up to about here level. Uh, we're going to need tracks coming out. And, oh, I got catenary on those. Let's just get rid of those. Uh, right. Level. Uh, so we'll come out like that. Yeah. We'll also bring those out. Yeah. Bring that over this way. Right. Nope. Do that. Now, I'm going to need them to come, come over that way, right? So we'll put a uh, uh, decent speed curve in uh, around this way. I will probably end up realigning this, but I need it as a guide so that I can build uh, bridges for the uh, the rail. Uh, okay, so we'll come across that way. Why are we going to have four tracks here? Well, because there's four types of, uh, of transport, right? For the uh, uh, specific cargo specific uh, wagons, right? And I don't want to just do naffies on all of the uh, 
uh, interhub connections, right? Okay, so that should be enough there. Now, uh, what I need is a couple of uh, single uh, single stations here, uh, so we can grab. Uh, so we can get that there, okay, uh, and we can get one of them here, right, just like that, yeah, and we can get one of them on here, which we can stick, oh, that'll work, uh, okay. Uh, one up here, right? Okay, get closer so you can see what you're doing. Whoops. Uh, okay, do that. Yep. Uh, we'll need one on here. Yeah, that will work. And we'll need one on here. That should work. Okay. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Yeah, I know. Um, right. So uh, what we need to do now is connect those up with streets. And I'm going to use the medium country road. And the first thing I need to do is get over the track yeah um go away uh okay so we come out this way uh, up no i think i want it flat for a uh, piece coming out of there yeah and we can connect onto that right Oh, make that curvy. Uh, I could just go across. Yeah, I'll build a bridge later when it's uh, when it's uh, useful. So we'll come across, kind of like that, right? Okay, and then we can have. Okay, so we're gonna have a road that comes along like this. And it will come along like this, all the way up like this, and quite possibly uh, cross the, uh, the river there, uh, right? And then this can come in like that. Yeah. Uh, this one can do something similar, right? And then we will have one come down like this. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so build us a nice straight road. <clears throat> ah, okay. No, I can uh, take that one out and uh, bring this down like this. Yeah. Okay. And then this can come out here. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, okay. And then we can have a road coming down like that. Yeah. Well, we'll pretend we need the road to continue that way. And then we'll bring, bring this over here. And then this can come down. Okay, you come across. Yeah. Do that. Okay, so that is a collection of roads right 
and then this one can come down like that yeah so what does that give us a collection of stuff that can do a thing yes terribly exciting that um okay and then we can come off a no uh, we can come off a here and then this can go up to here yeah that connects everything to the road network and uh we'll need a delivery line into green bay but i might take that from a different um truck uh platform thing yeah okay so now this is going to be the green bay freight hub yes you can have stations with the same name okay now this is the Green Bay food processing plant. Right? Food processing plant, right? And this is uh, iron ore mine number three. Yep. And this is going to be iron ore mine number three right and this is forest number three forest number forest number three right and that's forest number five forest number five yeah and that is forest number two okay forest number two and this is green bay oil well right um oil well oil well just oil well just oil well okay so that's those now uh we'll need to uh stick some trucks on that but that won't get us anywhere uh we need to actually uh deliver down to this here this here uh as uh, at least to get something happening right so we're going to do the same same trick down over here uh configure uh tracks uh one two three four uh we're going to go no, we're going to go cargo buildings, grab this guy, stick him in there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, we're going to need a few platforms down this end as well. So, uh, we'll go in here, we'll grab buildings again, uh, and we'll do this. Um, which way did I... Yeah. Uh, so if we do that, yeah, and we go, no, configure cargo one, two, three, four, five, yeah, bring it out like that. Then we go in street access, stick one there. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, what I can do is put a road there because that seems appropriate. Okay. Now, this is going to be Green Bay Freight Hub as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll take this out. So, uh, no. So that's too far away to uh, link with that one. So uh, I think maybe I will do that differently. Yeah, we'll just come back up this way. 
put a gap here and then uh, building. Then do this. Yeah, that will uh, get everything in range. Yeah. Okay. So if I do this. Yeah. Do that. Configure. Well, we'll need that. Cargo. Okay, yeah, we can do this. Okay, yeah. That will be uh, Green Bay Freight Hub. Okay, so that gets us several more platforms all in range. So now everything talks to its, each other, right? Uh, now, grab the uh, street, run this out this way. Level. Yep. Oh, like that. Nope. Like that. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to need... I think I'm going to need uh three truck lines on there uh, yeah i think three truck lines on there is probably going to be right uh two are for drop off and one is for uh for pickup right okay so we'll grab a one of these um that give us um well that'll give us a uh we can one way around it yeah we could one way around it So if I do that, and then I configure it, uh, yeah, so we'll do this, yep, and then we'll do this, yep, wait, no. Okay, so we want one way in. No, that's one way out. One way in. One way out. Right. Okay, now we can grab streets. We don't have one way streets. So we'll just use the uh, the small uh, road tool here. So we do this and this. Okay, and we come up, we come around the operation here and in. Yeah. Well, out. Uh, okay. So, if I take that out and I grab this one, and I can do this. Well, that's acceptable. Okay, so that gives a uh, significant um, operation there. Did I leave enough room here to fit a uh, fit one of these in? I think I did. 
Oh, I did. Uh, I can stick this all the way back here. Right. Uh, and we can grab uh, one of... I think we can do this. Yeah, that's a good place to stick one of those just out of the way. Uh, okay, so this is the Green Bay Steel Mill, right? Uh, steel Mill, yeah. So this will be the Green Bay Steel Mill. Right, okay. So, um, right. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is set up two truck lines. Uh, I'm going to buy for cargo. Um, yeah, we'll go with the Mac tarpaulin truck. 30. That one does 40 and carries 7. This one does 30 and carries 9. We'll put five of them on a line, which we'll collect from here and drop off here. Yeah. So that's going to be Green Bay Iron Mine to Green Bay Freight Hub. Right. Then we're going to grab another five of those. Yeah, and then we'll go, you go from here to here, and you're going to be Green Bay Steel Mill to Green, Green Bay Freight Hub Iron. Okay. Yeah. So this one, manage line, Green Bay Steel Mill, we're only going to, we're not going to load anything. Uh, we're only going to unload iron. Okay. And this one, we're not, we're only going to load iron. Yeah. I could use one of those to bring the steel back, um, but later on we have trucks that are specialized for uh, such that they can bring uh, the steel or the, uh, you know, with uh, some flat, some logging type trucks and dumpers that can do the, uh, the uh, ores. So now we are producing iron here. Um, which means I think we need more than five, um, trucks there. Uh, yeah, I think we do. Uh, so, uh, no, we're going to look here. Uh, what's the rate? 93. Yeah. Manage vehicles. So that'll get us a couple hundred rate. Yeah, we'll put 15 of them on there. And here we've got... Oh, uh, here we've got a rate of 80. Yeah. Okay, so now we are leapfrogging iron through there, and the freight hub is starting to operate, right? Uh, next step, we'll be bringing this stuff down uh, and getting it, heading, heading it somewhere that it can use everything. Uh, 
and I don't see anywhere that we can use the logs uh, close by. So uh, that's going to be a, uh, a potential problem. I do see that we have down here a uh, oil refinery which might go in with the Pueblo with a Pueblo hub. Yeah. Um, yeah, so next time we might be getting a uh, getting an interhub train running. Uh, that should be exciting. Uh, so this is kind of the uh, kind of the plan I have for uh, finishing off the map. You know, it's kind of see how much we can get freight moving around the map like this without uh, without the uh, game killing my uh, killing my system, right? Uh, because you know that is a possibility this is a big map uh, anyway uh, that's going to be enough for this episode um, yeah so that, that's a project that actually accomplished something and uh, from here uh, we'll see where we go now the uh, the thing I should mention is a patreon I have one uh, so if for some reason you want to support the channel it's there uh, the link is in the description and uh, use it or not as you see fit Anyway, uh, that's all for now. See you back next time.